Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. Have you ever been reading your favorite book and been able to taste the words as you see them on the page? What about hearing a new song on the radio and being able to see colors from the rhythmic sound? This might sound like some sort of magical power, but for certain people, this can actually happen and it's with a condition called synesthesia. Synesthesia is when the stimulation of one sense causes the stimulation of a different sense at the same time. For example, someone with synesthesia might be able to hear colors or taste letters. The only time I've been able to taste letters is with a big warm bowl of alphabet soup. Get it? No? All right. All bad jokes aside, I'm actually not a synesthete, which is the term for people who have synesthesia. Of the actual synesthetes around the globe, a common form of synesthesia mixes letters and or numbers with colors or simple patterns. And another common form mixes sounds with colors, textures, and shapes. Some synesthetes have a type of synesthesia that can involve more than just two senses, but these cases are far more rare. For where synesthesia originates from, let's take a trip to that wonderful noggin of yours. It's a little unclear what part of the brain synesthesia comes from, but two competing theories are that it either takes place in the limbic system or in the cerebral cortex. Some scientists also believe that synesthesia comes from a crossed wiring in the brain, where neurons and synapses that are typically contained within a certain sensory system end up crossing to another one. In this theory, it's even thought by some that everyone has crossed connections at birth, but they're later pruned out. No matter where synesthesia comes from, it also seems it can be induced by certain things such as head trauma. Some chemical agents might even be able to produce synesthesia-like experiences. I would have thought a radioactive spider would have been involved. Call me Hollywood, I'm looking for work. Now it was once thought that synesthesia was more common in females than males, but a recent study has shown otherwise. From their pool of 3,000 893 participants, researchers found synesthesia in 1.55% of the females and 1.19% of the males, which was not a significant difference. These findings also help give a general understanding of just how uncommon synesthesia is, even if the exact percent of synesthetes in the world can be difficult to determine. So do you or anyone you know have synesthesia? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to watch even more Life Noggin, I highly suggest you check out our video on when multicellular life began. The main theory is that multicellular organisms started out as cells grouped together in colonies. Some scientists count these as the first complex life forms. As always, my name is Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.